Welcome back to Great Tech Drawings. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw an object in orthographic projection to be specific third angle projection. As you can see, you already have a block and the question states, draw the block below in third angle projection. So we have a block that is it's somehow stepped but with an inclined plane so what you're going to do we are going to start as you know very well when you're drawing a, an object to third angle projection the plan usually is at the top that is depending on where the front elevation of your object is as you can see for case you are, it is given to be on the left hand side so our front elevation will be on this part of this side of our quadrant yeah then the front elevation will be under it and the end elevation will be on the right side so basically normally what i like to do is start by drawing the front elevation so the front elevation is basically what you're going to see when you are on this side facing this side so let me start by extending this line up and showing you what you are going to be able to see from the front elevation we shall have something like this This one is actually going to come join here, and this one is going to be here, like that. So basically, what you're going to see the front elevation shall have this one here, this one joining there, like that. So, what you're basically going to see in your front elevation is basically going to be this rectangular section here the whole of this rectangular section but this one will also be there so we are going to start so I'd say your front elevation will be on the bottom that is bottom front on the bottom side because our plan is going to be at the top the front elevation is going to be at the bottom so the dimension for our front elevation shall be 20 plus 25 plus 20 that is 65 millimeters by 50 millimeters that is the vertical elevation so from here we shall draw a line 65 millimeters long and from here draw a line another line 50 millimeters long going downwards then just turn this to that that like that so from the bottom side you have uh, this uh, this line here 10 millimeters from the bottom so you are going to draw from here so around this point mark 10 millimeters and draw line 10 millimeters like that then you are done with this part so we want to draw this line so we are going to measure 20 millimeters from this side going to this other side to the right hand side also done with that the other one that we are going to draw is this other line you can measure 25 millimeters from here going this side or alternatively you can measure 20 20 millimeters from this side going this side so we are going to draw the from 20 millimeters 
that remember to erase these parts because these parts will not be visible we are going to erase this part this part this part this part here but you can show this using a faint line let me just show it using a faint line like So basically you are now going to have to extend the, your lines upwards using your set square and t square at 90 degrees. There is basically no need of extending the one for the <coughs> right right side, this right side because it's, we, are, we had started drawing from the margin. So now we are going to draw the plan and as you can see our plan our plan it's quite visible from the top let me just shade what you are going to see this part you are going to see that part these are the parts that we are going to see the shaded region so we are going to see something like a T and we are also going to see this part down here We're also going to see these other parts that part like that we're going to see that part so we are just going to have another rectangular section measuring 85 millimeters going upwards by 65 millimeters so from here you can draw your line 65 millimeters then the other line shall go up 85 millimeters then just draw another 65 draw your rectangle mm, like that so the T section this T, -t part here is what you want to draw now so we are going to measure 20 millimeters from the top so this is the top we are going to measure 20 millimeters let me just take it down 20 millimeters then draw a line like that you don't have to draw any other you just have to shade this part to make this lines darker sorry make this line dark that like that you can erase this part there is this erase that then you can also show this part here using a faint line because that is the slanted edge where the slanted edge starts from we go ahead now and extend this one up to the center line this center line here and also extend this one up to this point there's no need of extending the other one then using your set square and 45 degrees your t square and 45 degrees set square you are going to draw a line measuring 45 degrees up to the center line here yeah? then project downwards then you are also going to draw another one 45 degrees at 45 degrees up to the center line this center line so then also project it downwards now from the front elevation this one here you are also going to project draw a line just extend this line using a faint pencil sorry it's not quite straight and project it like that then project this one here like that so you are going to have shape like this with the orthographic projection once when you have drawn the plan and the front elevation 
you cannot see that the 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 block has a slanted edge so we are going to be able to see it only once we have drawn the the end elevation that is what we want to do so we are going to draw this line here from this other line margin line 10 millimeters using a dark pencil 10 millimeters then it's going to go 85 millimeters then it's going to go upwards 50 millimeters then go back horizontally 20 millimeters then come down 40 millimeters then come back again horizontally 65 millimeters and now want to draw this horizon this slanting edge here we are going to just take the a pencil dark pencil to be hb or preferably to h then just join this to the top yeah and you are going to have your object in third angle orthographic projection so basically this is what you should have thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and share the video